Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Tammy Book Lover. Today we're going to talk about Time, Love, and Tenderness written by D.A. Young. It is a Baymore Thanksgiving novel. Oh my God, guys, this book is phenomenal. If you are familiar with D.A. Young and her Baymore series, this is where um, we met a Elsie, we met Georgie, and remember Graham, oh my God, Graham was a dream husband. You got to remember Graham. I did a review on the book, on Graham's book, him and Annabelle. Graham is the perfect man, I'm telling you. Anyway, this book is everyone in this book, and this is a great, great Thanksgiving um, book. So, a book starts out with Graham and Annabelle. They are getting married, and they have a lot of stuff going on. Annabelle's been so busy with her life as a veterinarian that she's guilting herself because she forgot about the wedding. She's not taking, in her mind, she don't think she's giving more attention to Rory and Graham, and he is, like, not having it. He didn't know what to expect because she's blaming herself, and he knows the ordeal that she went through with her ex-husband. So he was giving her time and space and peace for her to get herself back together. And she was just feeling so guilty, so like selfless that she wasn't giving the attention to her family. So if she took her time off and she decided that it's two weeks before the wedding. I am going to get my life together. And she did. And that's where the book started. And oh my God. I still love me some Graham. He is awesome. He's good. He's a chef. He's a good private investigator. He protects his family. He loves his family. He loves Rory. He loves Annabelle. Graham is the best. He looks out for all his friends and family. I just love him. I, I can't get enough of him. This D.A. Young did Graham justice. So now Max and Georgie. Guys, you got to forgive me. Why did I think Max was white? I have no idea why I thought Max was white. Even when I did Georgie's book review, in the back of my mind, I thought Max was white. But Max is black, and he is a black farmer. So I'm like, how did I miss this? Why in my mind did I think Max was white? Anyway, that's besides the point. So now Max and Georgie, they've been together. Remember, the first book in the Baymore series was about them. And Georgie wants a family now. After everything she's been through with her mom, her abusive father, all that stuff going on. And she is just one of family. Everyone around her is having family. Her sister is pregnant with a second child. Animals getting married. She's having baby fever. And it was so heartbroken to read how... Um, she had a miscarriage and she didn't know how to deal with it. But and it was heartbroken to know that how Max had to put his feelings aside to comfort her. And let me tell you, that hit home because that same thing happened to me and my husband. So I, I, I could relate to them and their situation. So it was so real, so raw, so rich, and I felt it. And then when they come to terms and they decide that, now they're going to just adopt because the situation is just that it's too much and they don't want George. He doesn't want Georgie to go through that and Georgie doesn't want him to go through it. So they decide to adopt. So when they decide to adopt, um, they went through a series of questioning and things happened and they got, well, they were able to get into the system so they could adopt. So things work out for them and they were able to solve that situation. So that was good. Now you have Wade and um, Elsie. So Elsie's pregnant, baby number two, and Wade is fully involved because remember when she had Camille, Wade had no idea. It was so much going on. So it was like really just like a flashback of everything that they went through and now their life is like progressing and everybody's growing and the neighborhood's growing. So things is just going good for them. Guys, Ingrid. I'm not sure if I remember Ingrid being back in the end of um, Wade and Elsie book or maybe it was Graham book. I'm not sure. But anyway, Ingrid is back and Ingrid is the mom. She is Georgie, Elsie, and Graham's mother. And remember the ordeal that they went through. So now she's back. She's trying to get her life together. She's been clean. She's been doing her thing. And the devil is just like tempting her and putting like situations in her in her way that she has to like overcome and it's hard because I'm not gonna lie when I read the situation like I feel bad for her because I 
I read what she's going through. Like she wants to get close to her kids, but the kids don't want her. And you can't blame the kids because if I was in M. Georgie Graham or Elsie's position, I would not be as forgiving. I I don't think I could. I would. I would be able to welcome Ingrid with an open arm. That everybody is saying that they should give her a second chance because they went through hell for about maybe twenty years, if not more. So they went through a lot and. It was really hard. So for knowing that, oh, you're just going to become clean and you expect me to get back in good grace with you is not something easy to ask of someone. But I am so glad that they were able to overcome it and they were just like, okay, it's going to take a time. It's going to take some patience, some peace of mind, some comfort, but we're getting there. So in the end, everything worked out. Graham got married. Um, to Annabelle, and we get to see again Casey Crazy Self. We've read Jack's back and um, Darby. The whole um, Whiskey Road crew is there, and we get to see Guy and Fern. I'm hoping that their book for the Baymore Suits is going to be next. Well, not next, next, but the next Baymore book is going to be theirs. I think that's an interesting story right there, and I, I kind of like it. I can't wait for them. Um, who else was there? So, you remember the crazy girl that was in love with Max and when Georgie, what is her name? Farah. You guys remember Farah? If you read the book, you should remember Farah. She was, yeah, she was that. Anyway, so it worked out that Farah was able to link Georgie and Max's situation and give them a blessing, which was phenomenal. I'm so happy for that. Um, what else happened? Ingrid's getting herself together. She, the, the her brother Nate and Val had welcomed her in open arms. Everything's working out. Overall, it was a great, great Thanksgiving book. I really loved it. I really enjoyed reading about the characters again. I really enjoyed seeing everyone like getting together and putting differences aside, even though it's going to take work to get something fully solved. But I'm really glad that it came together. This was a great, great Thanksgiving book. If you're looking for something that you like to read, that's family oriented, that gives you bits and pieces of sadness and not fully sadness, but like piggyback on this is life. This is what happened and you're going to have to forgive to, and not forget, but move on. You know what I mean? So this book was very good. Again, it's called Time, Love, and Tenderness, written by D.A. Young, a Bay Moore series. Guys, check it out. Let me know what you think. Also, check out her page. She's on Instagram and she's on um, Facebook. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good day.